Hi, I'm Julia Royston at BK Royston Publishing, Royal Media and Publishing, and the Book Business Bosses, helping you get your message to the masses and turn your words into wealth and be a book business boss. Well, one thing that we want to address today is the signature speech. Uh, over time, I have developed and realized that I need to um, speak more. Even though I've been on stages singing for years, um, I realized that um, to move my businesses, my books, my message, that I need to speak more. So having a signature speech or basic signature topics that you talk about are really key. They should be included in your one sheet. They should be included in your media kit. Uh, and as you continue to add more or move uh, certain topics around, uh, that list should increase. So our agenda for our, our time together is what is a signature speech, why a signature speech is necessary, what to talk about, components of a signature speech, issues that can arise in a signature speech, the closing, and what's next. So what is a signature speech? So I use what is easily, I know what I have in my mind, but it's just quicker and easier to just go to Uncle Google and ask him. A well-designed signature speech offers the audience knowledge about a subject matter related to your products and services that will help them improve their personal and or professional lives while simultaneously creating interest for your business offerings. So your signature speech should be not only just providing information, but it should be related to something you do, a product that you offer, a service that you do, an organization that you're associated with, a nonprofit, something that you're uh, passionate about and something that you're closely related to. As you notice, when people are interviewed on the, in the media, they kind of give uh, what their organization is about or what the product is or what the event is going to be related to. And then they have ways that people can support, how can they help, what's next, where can they go to find more information. It's those kinds of things that need to be included in your signature speech. So a signature speech can be something um, nice that you like. Like I like to watch tennis and I like to watch football and I enjoy certain movies or I enjoy uh, certain topics. Uh, I like to eat popcorn or whatever. But if that is not related to your specific product or service, you shouldn't be speaking about it. Or something that shouldn't come back to you personally, or you have an organization to connect it to, or you have some type of call to action for people to participate in, leave it alone. Uh, it should be related to something um, that you, either you create, something you do, a business you offer. If, if it doesn't, you either need to create it or speak about something else. So why a signature speech? So we know what a signature speech is. It should be related, related to a product or service. And I know some of you say, oh, I don't like to speak in front of audiences. But let me tell you what a signature speech or speaking in front of audiences does for you. For authors, you sell more books automatically. People hear you speak, and especially if you do a wonderful job, knock it out the park. People are like, Where, where's your book? Because I find that some people who speak are up speaking and their book is not done. And people are like, okay, where can we get more? What can we do? They don't have a coaching program. They don't have a book or they're on the media talking about a subject and they're knocking it out the park, but their website's not finished. And this is not, it's best not to even do speeches unless you have something for people to connect with. So for authors, if you have a book sold, you need to be speaking everywhere. You need to be talking about it because when you speak, your books sell. For speakers, it's just what you do. You speak often, you speak everywhere, you're everywhere. But for speakers, you really need to have something else for people to buy, for people, and that's what we'll talk a little bit more about. But you speakers, you need to make sure because people who speak and they love it and the audience is, woo, wonderful. But they don't have the next step. And that's what the key is in a signature speech is that you need to make sure 
that this is a whole package deal, that this is a whole, that you have some things set up and ready and in place for people to go to next. Because people get excited, they get caught up in the moment, they get overwhelmed with emotion, they get, what can I do, what can I have? It's, it's the rallying point. It is the, the rallying situation. So for authors, you sell more books. For speakers, it's what you do. You just speak all the time. And for coaches, it should be a natural along with your coaching business. Now, some people are more, oh, I, I, I coach one-on-one -on -one and I do small groups, but big crowds, I can't, uh, I, I don't really like. Well, you need to get over that because big crowds lead to group coaching and individuals because on average, 10 to 20%, probably 10% of your audience will really connect with you. So if you've got a room full of 20 people, two to four will, will actually come to you. I recently spoke somewhere and there were 50 people in the audience. Five to 10 of them really uh, connected with me. Well, I did my job. 10 to 20% is what you should expect to really, uh, a statistics tell you, you the 20% of the audience is really connected to you. So if there's only like 50 or 100 people and you've got 10 uh, speakers, yeah. So, you know, do you do the math. So for coaches, that should be something that you do because it will help get people into your coaching program. Uh, business owners, it brings attention to your business. For nonprofits, when you speak, it brings attention to, and hopefully donors, volunteers to your nonprofit organization. This is just something that you should do, and, and you know, it should roll right into that. So why a signature speech? Why not a signature speech? And why haven't you done a signature speech more, uh, more often? What to talk about? So it should be a, a major problem, or, um, and then you should be helping them with the solution. You shouldn't necessarily give the solution away because um, that's what you're wanting them to roll into, to connect with you about. There is a problem, you need to point out the three things related to the problem, how your company fixes that, and that's what we do. So reach out to us because we can help you solve that problem. If people have questions about specific problems or questions or pain points, um, point out those pain points and what those solutions um, that your business offers. We, offers. we offer a solution to this. This is a problem and this is an issue. And then what makes the change? What makes, uh, in, in your signature speech, you should be turning people to you to help you with that. How have you solved so many people's problems? How many uh, people have you helped with this, uh, solving this problem? So a current event, give information on it um, and related to it, but always be turning them to you as to how uh, your business, your organization, your coaching program, your book, or, or whatever is going to help them solve this problem and answer it. Or we're going to answer it in that retreat. We're going to um, take care of that. The conference is going to address all of those issues, and we, that's what's coming up. Um, and then it should also be related to your book. So um, there's it, it, your um, signature speech, if you've written a book, which hopefully you would have, before you're speaking. Uh, it should be related to your book, your business, or if you're a ministry or a nonprofit organization, it should be related to that. Something that will bring people to you. Hopefully, you'll also have products and services at the back table or on in the bookstore for people to purchase so that they can in, make an immediate investment and then, hopefully, a, a flyer or something that's coming up and sign up for to get more information, get on my list so I can send you more information to whatever, or uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, all those kinds of things for um, still related to your signature speech. So what to talk about, major problem, question, uh, pain point, need information, your book, not just standing up there reading it, but related to it. And then um, the things that are not in your book, you should be talking about, or additional things besides your book.
or things before the book or something related to the book, something related to your business or your organization. So the components of a signature speech, 45 minutes to an hour. Now for me, I am more of a, now this is me personally, everybody's different, but me, if I have 45 minutes and I have an upcoming speech and it's 45 minutes long, I'm only going to talk for the first 20 to 30. The last 20 to 15 to 20, I want questions. I want to incorporate my closing and I want to roll you into where, where we're going next. Uh, purchase the book. Uh, I have an upcoming class. Uh, I have an upcoming course. Go to my store, get my flyer, sign up for my list for more information. Okay. So that's kind of what the way I am mapping out my time. I do not want to talk the entire 45 minutes. If they give you 45 minutes, I only want to talk 30. And then I either want to answer, answer questions or next steps. If they give me an hour, I still only want to talk about 30 minutes because I want either 15 minutes for questions and then 15 minutes for even more questions and then the answers. And then the 15 minutes at the end to give time for transition, you to meet with me, you to have time to talk to me, uh, more questions, or come back to my back table and let's talk. So um, kind of an outline, and I've given some other resources at the end for you, you know, seven simple, simple steps, some other articles that I found. But really, there'll be an introduction of you and... Um, and say, I'll turn it over to Julia Orston. And then you need to introduce yourself. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you so much to those uh, organization or whatever, the business or the person who invited me. So I own BK Orston Publishing and Royal Media and Publishing. And I have an author membership group, The Book Business Bosses. Get it out there in the press. Um, um, I've been in business now for 11 years. Um, I have 100 plus authors signed to my companies and I have 200 plus books that I've published and I'm now helping whatever. Okay. So what we're going to be talking about today is turning your book and going from an author to an entrepreneur. And then my next thing would probably be how many of you have already written a book? How many of you have a book? All right. Uh, put your hands down. How many of you are in the middle of writing a book right now? Put your hand up. Put your hand down. How many of you, and I may have three or four questions. How many, because it's allowing me to survey the room. How many of you uh, have a business or in business or, you know, as like the kids say, I got a side hustle. Okay. Is any hands in the room? Okay. So based on those questions, we'll determine kind of what direction I'm going into. And that's the reason why I don't really like sometimes using technology because I want to be able to switch it on the fly. And some people can't always do that. That's more extemporaneous off the, off the cup. But if you really know your business and you really know your organization and you really know what you have to offer, which should be multiple things, if you really know um, what direction, you're wanting to meet the needs of the people in that audience. Now, it may be twofold. You may have to address historically, okay, y'all know about this, the process of writing a book or whatever, whatever the topic I'm talking about. But then I also need to address the needs of the people who don't have a book, who don't have a, so for example, let's go back to my, all right, after my introduction, I'm going to be talking about uh, an author to entrepreneur, question to the audience, Okay. So if the, if the majority of the audience has raised their hand that they already have a book, go slip, go down to net in your mind, go down to the next one. Okay. Cause everybody's written a book. So the next thing is, how's your book selling? That's my next thing. How is your book selling? Well, having a business and turning that to additional products and services and establishing a business through your book will help sell books. Now I've gotten the pain point. How how's your book selling? They sell well, flying off the shelves. Okay, you can't keep them in, whatever. How many is that? Then I may do another question to the audience. Okay, if, if they raise their hand and only half of them have written a book or none of them have written a book, you have to address both issues. What the benefits of having a book 
and then what the benefits of your book and what the book should be about to relate to your business. Okay, I know that's a lot, but let me just break it down. If they already have a, uh, a book, then if the majority of the people in the room have already written a book, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, if they've written a book, then you need to talk about what kind of book it is and what books uh, e more easily transfer into businesses, okay? If they, as, that's part one. If they're, the majority of the people have not written a book or are currently in the middle of the book, then you still need to talk about what are the best books to turn into business and what they should be looking at in their book and right now. Okay. So, um, and so, you know, that, that would be a way to do that. Then uh, my next step was your background and your history in, in creating businesses. How did you, how did I create my book, my business from the book? What happened? What was my backstory? Okay, and then give three to four facts or issues or problems that address um, each of those topics. So the first thing is for me, for turning my book into a business, I had to say yes, that I would go into business. My first thing for me was saying yes, because I said no so many times. I had gone through the process. Yeah, I was selling my book, but for it to, to transfer into actually publishing other people, which is an issue, the processing of creating that book is what my business turned into. Your business is going to be totally different, maybe. But, you know, I had to first off say yes. And then second off, I had to make sure that uh, my uh, ability to do that was on point. So those kinds of things and address those topics. Learning more, becoming a student uh, of your business and a lot of, and then eventually incorporating and eventually, you know, creating more products and services. And this. So now, what does that business, so now that I've gone through kind of my background, the three or four issues that arise moving to turning my book into a business, which is my next uh, major talk, what does that business do now that addresses that? So one, I'm a writing coach. Two, I have the publishing. Three, I have the membership group for people who are self-published. Four, um, I, I have the ability for marketing and promotions and distri additional distribution. So what's next? Boom. I have a course that's coming up that's uh, a 16-week course that's going to come up that's going to roll you into how to turn your book into a business. Two, I have a book that I've written, Author to Entrepreneur. Um, there'll be an event in the fall where, you know, Book Business Bosses are retreat, blah, blah, blah. And then question and answer in related to anything that I've talked about. And then here's the information. Here's the handout uh, for uh, the upcoming class. If you sign up between the next 48 hours, you get 25% off. After that, on Monday, because my event, that event is on Saturday. On Monday, it rolls into the, uh, the, the regular price, which is going to be this. So if you register between now and Monday, la, 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 okay, and get their information. Once everybody buys a book or they're buying a book, then you need to make sure that you get their contact information. Here's my business cards. I need your business cards. I'm giving away a, uh, a Kindle Fire. Put your uh, information in a bowl to, for a giveaway. That's one way for us to do two-way communication, and it's a win-win for them. Um, back of the room, at the table, um, you need help. You need people there, and um, you need uh, assistance. And all that good stuff. So that's that's kind of my quick, down and dirty um, components of a signature speech. Um, you need to make sure that there is uh, business cards, information for people to get in contact with you, as well as have a way of getting information from them. Okay. <coughs> so that uh, let me go back just a second. These are kind of uh, basic components of a signature speech. It can change and be tweaked. It's not a uh, hard, fast rule. The, the biggest thing for me is that you have something for people to purchase, then something, uh, a business, something to roll people into so that they can have further communication to you, as well as a website. Hit me up on social media, find me on this, download there, go to my store, 
whatever. Have all those things available. So people can um, connect with you how they need to connect with you. Okay? Phone, uh, calendar, store, social media, email, the whole, the whole nine yards. Issues with the signature speech. Okay, so let me just tell you about a recent uh, event I was at. I have um, committed myself to one uh, one thing that I didn't even mention earlier. Is once you have, most people don't consider this when you're writing a book, but when you have written a book, you now become an expert on a particular topic that people can reach out to you, contact you, interview you. You can be on television, radio, internet radio, traditional, whatever, uh, blog talk, uh, podcast, as, uh, and as, as an expert. So therefore, uh, when you're considered an expert, um, you know, being ready to answer questions has to be, uh, you have to be ready for it especially if you are passionate about your um, topic, your business, your products and service. So I was recently asked to speak about writing and publishing, writing a book. And I said, okay, great, no problem. I know all about that. And they had asked, and you know, this is me personally. I pray about what I'm going to talk about or whatever. But it not, a PowerPoint presentation similar to what I'm using here did not jump up. Nothing about that because I needed to be flexible. My spirit told me I need to be ready for anything and just be on the lookout. And fortunately, uh, I'm that kind of person. I didn't even have notes. I had some notes. I had some handouts. But... Uh, they really didn't have to be used because it, the signature speech went totally a different way. So now I basically had two, I had a signature speech to talk about writing and publishing or whatever, which will always be my signature, writing, publishing, and promotion. Okay. That's kind of, I have a signature series on it, writing, publishing, write that book now, publish that book now, promote that book now, which is kind of my signature set of books as well as one of my main signature speeches. So I was kind of ready. The room had 50 people in it. There were, and when I asked the questions, which is in my signature speech outline for you to survey the room, how many of you have written a book? Every hand went up. I said, oh my God, maybe I didn't see that right. <laughs> Woo! I told them put their hands down. If you have not published a book, your book is, uh, you haven't written a book, your book is in the middle of being finished, and you uh, have not been in an anthology, whatever, raise your hand. Two people raise their hand. Oh my God. So writing a book and publishing a book couldn't be the number one thing I talk about right then. Yeah. Fast forward, I had to completely whitewash everything I was going to say in that moment at that time. Fortunately, I know my business. I've been in business 11 years. So therefore, everything had to switch. And yes, my brain was doing, making those noises, <laughs> uh, making it right now. Because going from why to write a book, how to write a book, when to write a book, that was oblivion because they already had their book in hand. The two people probably who hadn't written a book are the two people who probably bought my book, write that book now. But I sold more, published that book now, and promote that book now than I did of writing. Why? Because everybody had written their book. So then my next question was, so how's the sales going? Oh, the whole room in the uh, had my pain point. Even, I mean, there were all women in there, so women are very verbal, and they talk. Ugh. They all made a noise, literally made a noise out loud. I knew I hit my pain point. So it was about promotions and about sales. Switch gears. 
So what do you need to do for promotions? What do you need to do for sales? I had to come away from writing because they had written and they looked like, uh, drudgery. Like they had regretted writing the book that they had. Okay. So I went into 15 minutes about promotion or whatever, because I only had like 30, 30, 40 minutes. And then the other times I said, I'm a publisher, ask me anything. I'm a speaker. I'm a, 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 I've got a hundred authors. Blah, blah, blah. I went through my thing. I said, ask me anything. Then the connection made was made. I had books with me. So come out and see me at the table. And then that's where I went with my pitch. And that was my issues with my signature speech is I did not have a class ready. My store was not ready. My store was not up and ready to roll them into anything. So fortunately, I got information. I got contact information. Uh, as a matter of fact, one lady brought me two books, children's books, that she was not able to, she's like, help me with this. So she needed marketing promotions help. Help me with this. They needed marketing. They, I did sell some books. I did sell some children's books. But I realized, okay, that was a huge mistake. I cannot do that. So I'm, I'm being perfectly frank. You've got to remember what the host wants and what the audience wants. This is my first issue to you. May not be the same thing. What your audience dynamics are and what your audience needs are may not be the same thing as what you've been told to speak about. So you really need to have two signature speeches and two directions. You need to make sure that you're able to uh, meet the needs on that subject from A to Z. Now, when I say that, I don't mean you know everything and you're an expert and you're perfect about everything. But I know that there's three major parts to getting a book and to moving a book. Writing it, publishing in it, and promoting it. I needed to cover all of those three things in the back of my mind, even if I didn't speak about it. At any given time, I know that that is the full process. You got to write it. You got to publish it. I can't just stop at writing. I just can't stop at publishing. I know that promotion, sales, speaking, other products and services have to be included in that. So I have to make sure that in my mind, I can cover from A to Z, the full scope, the full process from beginning to end, from start to finish, from beginning to conclusion. I need to be able to do that and talk everything in between, all the steps in between. And have a offering, have a website, have a something that people can connect to from A to Z. Now, I didn't have a program to roll them in because, one, I had been told not to. Two, I could have had it on the table and people just came and connected to me and I could have done it that way. I couldn't pitch from the stage, but I could have pitched from my table. Here's my next class. But I didn't have the class already set. I didn't, my store was not fully up and ready to go with the pieces that these people needed. But my social media was up and I probably got 25 to 30 uh, friend requests on, on Facebook. So that's how people are going to connect with me. They're going to watch me for six months, three months, six months to see what I really do, what I say what I do. Do I have events like I say I do? Do I roll out what I say I do? What do I do? Do I really do that? And they're going to watch me. Then they're going to connect with me again. Now, some people connected with me immediately. Some people, it's going to take them three to six months. I know that. So, and, but, you know, and, and I digress, but this is all a part of speaking in front of people with that signature speech, being able to do that, being able to switch gears and answer that question and realize that need needs to be met. So, for example, if you've written a book on and you're coaching, you need to make sure that there's a coaching program that they can get into all the time. Or are you having a coaching, uh, a, a subject matter event that's coming up? Is there a workshop that's coming up? Is there a class? Is there a, uh, your book? Is there, you got to make sure that you're able to cover a lot of bases. Is there a website? Is there a uh, um, 
a monthly newsletter that you send out that people can sign up with to get more information and stay in connection with you and can stay in contact with you all the time. It just always has to be uh, being on the lookout for that. Uh, and, you know, you just, you just have to, you know, be able to switch gears and have not only two different offers, but two, uh, but, but your offer from A to Z to be able to plug these people in wherever they need. Now that takes time. And sometimes you'll just have a book to sell and that's good, but always have a notebook for people's names, email addresses, and phone numbers so that you can connect with them that way. It's a two-way connection. If you have a giveaway, great. If you have an upcoming class, great. If you have an upcoming workshop, great. If you have a retreat or conference or something. But more than importantly, make sure you have a book and make sure you have a way to contact them and a way for them to contact you. That's the basics. Now, if you have all that other, now with my next thing, I'll be able to pitch my upcoming class. I'll be able to tell you, here's my store. Here's my website. Here's my social media. Here's my contact information. I got a class that starts on this day. If you register by Monday, here's the, if you want to give us their information so we can reach out to you and tell us when, keep up with this, la, 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 Okay. I have time to be able to do that. I also have permission to do that. That's another issue. Being able to pitch from uh, the stage in your signature speech. Some organizations, it doesn't matter. Some organizations, especially if you're on a platform with somebody who coaches and does something similar to you, it may not allow that. So you got to uh, be able to switch gears on a dime. Signature speeches are great. And being able to have them on, in a heartbeat and being able to extemporaneously uh, switch gears and be able to meet the needs of the audience is really, really key. And of course, another piece is not giving away the world, you know, giving away the what and the why and the who and the, this is the problem, the how, they got to come to you. So I'll say that again, the what, the why, the who, but the how is what they need to come, how are you going to do it? how they can do it, how they need you for it. Making sure that you direct the how back to you, okay? I hope that helps. In the closing, um, having that call to action, what to do next, um, being prepared, being specific, being strategic, have help if you need it. Even if it's a room full of five or six, 10 people, have somebody else who can pass out flyers. If they don't provide you with an assistant, you probably need to bring one, especially if it's a new audience and they don't know you and they're meeting you. We want to make sure that you get to know them as much as possible. So have a call to action. Sign up for, register for, uh, put your business card in this bowl or a basket. Uh, be sure and get this flyer. Here's my business card. Here's my postcards. Make sure you have plenty of them there. Um, and if you don't, make sure you have access. Because you're, you're hopefully going to need it again for something else. Um, be prepared. Be specific. Be strategic. Uh, try to be as prepared as possible. Have as much extra. If you run out, wonderful. That's a good problem to have. But try not to. If they say they're going to have 50, I usually always bring 75 to 100 handouts. They say they're going to have 100, I usually bring 150. Because I'll use that flyer somewhere else. I'll use that handout at another event. I'm always doing events. So closing, be ready for the call to action. What's next? What can we do next? Well, where are you? Where are you going? But I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> so call to action. What's next? What's next? Hand out with your information, business cards, postcards, flyer. Have a special price if they sign up within 48 hours. Have a book for them to purchase. Have a sign-up sheet or a container for business cards. Have a giveaway. Have help to assist you with this process. Have somebody there to help you. Okay? So your signature speech should be off the chain, knock it out of the park, and the crowd goes wild, but also have something for them to go to next. 
additional resources. These are three um, about signature speeches as well as a template to go on. Always tweak it. Always make adjustments. Um, and even the things that I've mentioned in this uh, in this time together will always be adjusted. Will always need to be tweaked. Believe you me, I was standing there almost shaking in my shoes, but switch gears on a dime because I realized, oh my God, the write that book now is not going to cut it because these people have all written the book. Now they're frustrated because they have the book. What do you do next? And what do we do next? So there are some additional resources. If you need help, that's what I'm here for. bit.ly talk with Royston. Email me at bkroystonpublishing at gmail, bkroystonpublishing.com, social media, in the group, however I can help you in the store, bit.ly, BK Royston store, is more resources and information, whatever I can do to assist. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Let's get those signature speeches written because people are going to want you to talk about your book, talk about your business, talk about your ministry or nonprofit, and you need to be ready for it. You need to be uh, on top of your game because that will move you to the next level. Move your book to the next level. Move your business to the next level. Move your coaching program, speaking opportunities, uh, your reach. These are one of the major ways to get your message to the masses. So I'm Julia Royston of BK Royston Publishing, Royal Media Publishing, and the Book Business Bosses, helping you get your message to the masses, turn your words into wealth, and be a book business boss. Have a great day.